Ich werd alt. <lacht> Trash. Hello, Gavna. Everyone, hello. Mm. <coughs> I'm matching with my water <coughs> Water is dangerous for you. <laughs> it is finally time to get back to some stuff that I found on TikTok. Well, food stuff that I found on TikTok. It's been some time. My list is long. I feel like I start every video like this. <laughs> what else is there to say? I'm not wearing any socks. Actually, most of the stuff that I have bought for this video was so hard to get. Most of the stuff that I got for this video actually didn't even ship to Germany. Like, I literally had to ship everything to America and then ship it over to Germany. But one quick little thing before we get into the video. I just want to say that you can actually get my perfumes now on Amazon. And also, you can now get these in Austria in all the M stores. And we're working on getting them into other places as well. But you know, it's just, we need some time, but we're working on it. Just a reminder, in Germany, you can actually still get them in every drugstore, DM, Rossmann and Budni. You can get them in store and online. And you can also get them in Douglas now, which I just saw yesterday. <laughs> and you can also get them on Perfume Dreams Europe wide. <laughs> In this particular video, I will be focusing on TikTok candy that I found because I feel like candy really, really goes viral on TikTok a lot, especially if it's crunchy candy. <laughs> There's just something about the crunchiness that excites people. It also excites me. The first thing we're going to be trying are these marshmallows, which doesn't sound exciting at first, but I found this video where they custom made a marshmallow order for John Cena, apparently, and it was like filled with peanut butter and it was was jelly and it was covered in chocolate and it's it just looks so freaking good <laughs> they have so many crazy marshmallow flavors and like I've, I've never seen this before i mean i know marshmallows but not these types of super special marshmallows and i personally already am a huge fan of marshmallows in general because i also love the texture the flavor I don't care actually, but the texture of marshmallows, it's just so good. So the brand where I ordered it from is called the Marshmallow CO. It is actually from Australia and they ship internationally. It took 19 days <laughs> to get here. 19? Yes. But I do have to say that my package that I ordered, it's been sitting in my room for a couple of weeks <laughs> because I had to wait for everything else to arrive. I mean, you don't refrigerate marshmallows, but what if I have to refrigerate these ones because they're so special? I mean, they didn't tell me. Unfortunately, they didn't have the John Cena PB&J marshmallows, which was very sad, but I think I still made a good selection. Actually, I think I also picked like surprise me kind of box. Also, you will have to pay custom for this unless you're from Australia. <laughs> but I think it's great that they ship internationally. They are thick as fuck. Look at this. It looks like cake. Strawberry cheesecake. Oh, <laughs> yummy. This is the one that I picked, which is the surprise one. Oh, it looks so yummy. I mean, they're quite expensive if you want to look at the price. This three piece set is eight euros and 16 cents. And this nine piece set, 25, 85 euros. Obviously a lot of money, but it's handcrafted. We have to pay more money for more effort, obviously. And maybe they're worth it. But why is this chocolate here so white and this is brown chocolate? I hope it's just powdered sugar and not mold. Is there also mold on my cheesecake bits? Oh, I think we're good because the white stuff is also on the pictures on the website. <laughs> Maybe Vincent wants to try these with me. Hello. Do you want to try some marshmallows with me? I have strawberry cheesecake, pineapple lump. These what ones. What is the lump? What? I don't know. And this is just random flavors that I don't know which one is which. Oh, you look like it. Your pineapple mm -hmm. lump. Lump sounds so insulting. <laughs> lump actually means geschwulzt in German. Try to pronounce it right now. Geschwulzt. <laughs> Oh, so good. This smells like strawberry milk because strawberry milk is the best thing that you can ever drink. You have to drink your strawberry Mary, Mary milk. <laughs> mm, does it smell like a lump? Yeah. Mm, <laughs> <this one. laughs> I win. <laughs> kind of dry no no like i feel like marshmallow usually is softer you don't eat marshmallow that often believe me i'm a marshmallow expert the strawberry cheesecake one looks so different look just compare this one with the strawberry cheesecake one that i got can i have your lump <laughs> it doesn't taste good <laughs> oh yours is harder than mine oh yes yours is way softer mm -hmm. mm, with the chocolate i feel like it doesn't taste edible it tastes kind of like mm. soapy i think we should try something else okay we have to guess what it is this. can you not like 
basket on my uh, bed. You don't have a plate. No. This is what we're gonna try now. Vincent thinks his is cinnamon. I think mine is eggnog. I think you're okay. I don't like mine. I think there's white chocolate in there and I can't, couldn't even tell you what else is happening. <laughs> and yours? <laughs> <laughs> They taste the same. <laughs> oh, I just had butterscotch. You had choc churro. You have to try caramel dulce de leche. De luce. <laughs> dulce? Are you Italian? Dulce, yes. Buongiorno. You had pina colada. I had pina colada. No. No. <laughs> they have to be eaten as one. <laughs> this one is fairy bread. Without the fairy. That is so sweet. That also tastes like soap. <laughs> Cherry cola. Cola? Yes, it smells like it. Tastes like a whole browser. I don't know, they all taste the same. This has zero taste. <laughs> this tasted different to my pineapple one. So I think it's definitely, I mean, they all smell the same and I feel like it definitely has to do with it. You that. think that it all is just like the smell and everything yeah. gets onto the other one and then it all tastes the same? I haven't tried this one. I don't need to, just put it back. Oh my God, how can you rate this then? Okay. <laughs> oh no, that's the one. <laughs> oh, that's the one. That's the one. I mean, I had a lot of white chocolate drops. White chocolate geschwitzt. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think it can give this to someone? <laughs> Happy birthday. I think I could still like eat this. I also can't see Put yourself eating on. this. Yeah, I would eat this though. So if we're watching a movie tonight, you'll be like, oh, I'll just have some of this more. Well, not tonight because I'm going to eat a lot of sweets today. But yeah, I would be like, mm, marshmallow. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for this invitation. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was a little bit less exciting than I hoped for. Vincent is probably right. If you have them stored like this, all packed into one space, then maybe the flavors will like fuse and it's all just one huge flavor because the one packaged individually they did taste a bit more individually with the strawberry cheesecake it really was a little bit of a catfish because the one on the picture looked way better but in general i think it would actually make a cute little gift for someone if they really like marshmallows but i wouldn't order it again next we're gonna try ribbon candy and i found this particular video and i could not get it out of my head since it's just this type of hard very crunchy candy in the shape of a ribbon like this and i don't know if i will particularly like this type of candy but i think it will be super fun to eat because it's so crunchy i literally don't want to talk about how much shipping i paid for this probably quadruple the price that i actually paid for this candy <laughs> i mean it's been shipped overseas and i can already hear that it's not gonna be in a good in good condition. condition ribbon candy is spun into a delicious thin delicate treat we cannot guarantee this product against a breakage oh that that was not the description anymore i think the whole left side is in pieces like chloe belly but this side is still complete yeah that is really sad but it's really thick i thought it's gonna be way thinner you know what we're just gonna try this one first it's broken but it's still quite a good piece i would say mm. oh Oh. Why is it so spicy? What the fuck is this? Why is it burning away my throat? It's cinnamon. It's stuck in my teeth. How do I get out? That's gonna give me instant carries. Why was the cinnamon so freaking spicy, man? At the beginning it was so nice, but then it gets so spicy. I don't know if that's on purpose. Like if people get a kick from that. Next I'll try this one. I have no idea what this is gonna be. Well, if that ain't peppermint. <laughs> this is literally toothpaste. But at least I have a fresh breath now. Okay, I hope the next one's gonna be good because I need a good one. That's apple and that's good. It's just so very minty. I can see why people crave these. They're so crunchy, but then they get so sticky and they have such an intense flavor. Weird, I thought this would be apple. Mmm, lime. This one's good. Here, you wanted cinnamon. Very spicy. Yeah. This is hurting my teeth. You love it as much as I love the marshmallows. I don't think I can physically try any of this anymore. Maybe one more. The last one that is whole, okay? This is the worst possible outcome that could have outcomed. I think that was a sign that I should stop 
trying these. I have to say these are actually good. I personally could not eat more than I just ate because it's just a lot of sweetness and it also might cut open the insides of your mouth. But in general, I think it's actually great. Next, I need something soft again, which are these planet gummies. I know what kind of candies these are, like the soft sticky ball with goo inside. But all that I've tried was not that gooey and these seem to be super gooey like there's so much liquid in there so i'm very excited to try these i need something soft and sticky right now that's tiny four i actually ordered this from walmart walmart i live in germany and that's what i get i paid so much <laughs> I think there are actually a couple of different versions of these and some are not as good as the other ones so I really had to make sure I got the right one. Fruity Liquid Center. Soft strawberry flavored gummy. I love that it also says gummy. Are these German? Look at that. We already feel super gooey. Look at all the gooiness. These are so bomb. Calm down. <laughs> it tastes like blueberry, but it also has such an intense blueberry flavor and it's also a tiny bit sour and the filling is just so fruity. I did not expect to like these that much. If I didn't have to try so much more other candy, I would probably just eat all of these right now. Next, we're going to try slaps with chamoy sauce. I mean, the slaps in itself are already kind of a TikTok candy, but this whole hack, trying it with chamoy sauce and maybe even tahini is very popular. So I thought, why not get Give it a try. The only thing I ever tried with chamoy sauce and tahini was I think the fruit roll-up pickle that trended like years ago on TikTok. But I think something sweet in combination with chamoy sauce and tahini, this whole combo will never die. It will always be on trend. It will always be viral because people just love it. So we're gonna try it with the slaps and chamoy sauce. I bought this one from the candy shop that I bought it from. I have never tried it before. So I don't know if it's still gonna give us the ooh -ah -ah sensation. I've never never tried slaps. It just looks like super intense sugar. I'm already so over sugared. Oh, I didn't even know I had so many. <gasps> I thought there was just one in there. How convenient. People who invent candy, there's something else. I think I want to try it with the blue one. Oh. I'm having troubles. This does not come off easily. It smells like a toggle flick and lick lolly. <laughs> Everything is so sticky. Oh my god, there's still something on there. It looks so easy in the video. Oh man, will I be eating plastic with this? It probably is made out of plastic anyway. Now you just... I'm also gonna sprinkle some tahini on there. And then just gonna flip it over. And then you're gonna open it up. Ah! This comes off. That's messy, man. A little bit <laughs> messy. The way the chamoy sauce mixes with the rest just turns purple. Oh my god. <laughs> Yay, this is your result. Looks so good. <gasps> mm, I think I didn't do it right. Mine is um, turned into liquid for some reason. It's very spicy. <laughs> what is it? But it's good. I could see this as a late night craving snack. I would actually eat. But it's so... Blue. Look at my teeth. This slaps. <laughs> I could eat another one, but it's messy as fuck. I think I'm definitely gonna try one more with Vincent. Maybe in a TikTok. I want to show this to him because I feel like he would also like it. But honestly, Vincent likes everything that involves tahini. So <laughs> I love that you can't even see my eye makeup. Look, I have like little horns. You can't see it through my bangs. God damn it, you bangs! Next. We're gonna try something sour, I think. We're gonna try sour ooze. It is this type of paste that is sour. There's nothing else to say about this. I just think it looks cool and I wanna try it. So I bought three flavors. The girl in the video apparently froze hers. And I thought I'm gonna do that too, but it's just hard now. <laughs> but it gives great ASMR. But first, let's try the normal one. You might think this is apple flavor, but it's actually watermelon. Like, who makes it green, but makes watermelon flavor? I don't know how you're supposed to eat these. That's not that sour. I mean, it tastes very artificially flavored. Don't even think it tastes that much like watermelon. It has a weird flavor, yes. <laughs> Strawberry. The aftertaste tastes a little bit like the pee of my first guinea pig smelled. For some reason, I often have this association with random foods. <laughs> I don't know why, but it's just, it's a fact. 
it has a weird aftertaste maybe people who have guinea pigs or had guinea pigs can relate oh yes it works mm -hmm. oh i don't like the mm. <laughs> I think I like this the least. It doesn't taste like blueberry at all. I mean, it's blue raspberry. What even is blue raspberry? <laughs> is it a blueberry or raspberry? But I do like the consistency frozen. I like it better than the normal consistency because you can chew it. <laughs> I think the best one was actually the watermelon one, but I'm pretty sure a lot of people won't like the watermelon one because it tastes so artificially watermelony. I think it's literally Vincent's nightmare because there's nothing that he hates more than artificial watermelon flavor. And that was the epitome of that. I'm not a super huge fan of these pastes, but I guess it could be fun to just nibble a little bit on the tubes. <laughs> hey. <laughs> I swear every time I film a video like this, I think I'm prepared. I do have a sweet tooth, so I really thought I was prepared, but nothing could compare you for the sour ooze or the peppermint ribbon candy. So are we ready for the last one? Because this one I'm actually most excited about out of all of the ones I tried. So we're going to try something that I actually have tried on this channel and it is crystal candy. So basically candy that looks like crystals. The last time I tried it, it was from this one brand and I wasn't actually a huge fan because a lot of it just was not the quality that I expected that I wanted some of it was already moldy and just not that crunchy it was a little disappointing but recently i saw a video of hope scope where she tried crystal candy by tammy holmes and tammy holmes's crystal candy is actually super viral and famous on tiktok because she really makes art pieces they always look so beautiful they have so much glitter in them they're crazy shapes they just look super super amazing and i was like well maybe I just have another try at crystal candy because obviously there's so many different methods of making them and different shapes and different everything so not all of them are going to be the same so I really wanted to try Tammy's crystals also shout outs to Tammy herself because she didn't have any in stock on her website and I just messaged her asking when will they be in stock because I wanted to film this video she was being super nice to send me some crystals that she still had laying around because she said her next restock is going to be in spring and she's currently working on it but she doesn't have anything in stock on the website so she just sent me some over to germany and i'm very grateful and even when i unpacked her crystals i was immediately like wow this is so much different than the other crystal shop where i ordered everything looked so nice and when i opened it up and saw the crystals itself i was gobsmacked she makes these glittery skulls and glittery flowers and it just looked so beautiful and so aesthetically pleasing that I don't even want to eat it. But the fact that I can eat it is just so amazing. <laughs> I actually don't know which flavor this is because it was on the packaging and I threw the packaging of this one away. So cheers. It is coconutty. I think this is pina colada. Mm. You can see the inside is super soft and jelly and then it has this crunchy texture on the outside. Mm, it's a good flavor. I wish that it would be a little bit more crunchiness and not just immediately the soft jelly-like texture but like a little bit of a thicker crunchy outside. I have a glitter lipstick now. <laughs> I think this is lemon. It looks like gold. I love the lemon flavor. This actually looks like my nails. That's pear, but to be honest, I don't really taste the pear. It's just very sweet. I think if I hadn't known the flavor, I would say it's like pineapple or something. I can't tell you. It's, it actually tastes like a new fruit that doesn't exist yet. <laughs> I have one more. This is lime. I really want to give this to Vincent because he just loves lime. Let's try this one now. It's just so, so hard and it's gonna be so crunchy. God, it's apple cider the flavor is chill but the texture how do you even make something like this you can see that it eventually is a little bit of jelly in the middle like a little bit soft but as there's so many single ones stuck together it's just overall a super crunchy piece this is too beautiful to eat my hands are so glittery mm. 
<laughs> it's lychee. I'm not the biggest lychee fan. I think I really ate enough sweets for today. I think I ate enough sweets for two weeks, maybe one week. In terms of flavor, I think my favorite was actually the Planet Gummies. The flavor was just impeccable and they were fun in the sense of there was something fruity inside. <laughs> I think the marshmallow ones were a little disappointing. The sour ooze was super unnecessary. But everything else in this video was actually great. The crystal candies. I don't think I would literally buy these to just enjoy the flavor of it. The magic in these is the shape, the beautifulness, the aesthetic. I don't really see myself sitting on the couch watching a movie and being like, oh my god, now I want to eat my crystal candy flower. <laughs> but maybe some people do that. I'm not judging. That's my verdict. Definitely try the Planet Gummy if you can. Try the crystals if you can. And the slaps also slapped. But that is it for this video. I think I need a burger now or something. I need something umami. I need something salty. Mm, yeah, that was all, no? But the most important part is don't forget to follow me on all of my social media, which is Naomi John on Instagram, Naomi John on TikTok, and the Naomi John on Twitter. Oh, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye. I'll go chug a shot of soy sauce now. Yay. I'll take this with me, though.